Hey everyone, welcome back. Today, we're starting a three-part series all about computer networks. Now, networks might sound technical, but they're everywhere. They keep our devices connected and make everything from home Wi-Fi to global communication possible. In this first video, we're going to start small and talk about two basic types of networks. Personal area networks, or PANs, and local area networks, or LANs. By the end, you'll have a solid foundation for understanding how networks work and how they fit into your life. So, let's start with the smallest network, the personal area network, or PAN. PANs are networks designed to work in a really small range, often just a few meters around you. Think of all the devices you use every day that stay connected without much effort. Your smartphone, Bluetooth headphones, and maybe even a smart watch. These devices form a kind of personal bubble of connectivity. You can transfer files, sync notifications, or connect to Bluetooth speakers with no cables and no fuss. That's a PAN. It's your own little network that lets your devices talk to each other, just for you and just within a small range, typically up to about 10 meters. Next up, we're moving slightly bigger with local area networks, or LANs. LANs are probably what come to mind for most people when they think of networks. This type of network connects devices within a specific, often limited area like your home, office, or school. For example, if you're in an office building, LAN is the network connecting all the computers, printers, and other devices so they can share files, communicate, and stay connected to the Internet. Unlike PANs, LANs can handle more devices over a wider area sometimes as far as a whole office floor or even multiple floors in one building. And speaking of managing multiple connections, let me tell you about a tool that makes things way easier if you're handling multiple online accounts. Go login. Now, if you haven't heard of it, Go login, the best browser for multi-accounting. It's designed to make it super easy to manage different online profiles without getting them mixed up or blocked. With Go login, you can switch between accounts in just a click. Whether you're working with social media profiles, e-commerce accounts, or any kind of online setup that needs separate logins. And let's be real. In today's world, managing multiple accounts can get chaotic. Go login simplifies it, so you can stay organized and secure while browsing. That's it for part one. Today, we covered pans and lands, and now, you have a better idea of how networks connect our devices, from personal bubbles to workspaces. Stay tuned for part two, where we'll take it to the next level with larger network types and introduce you to another great tool for productivity. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share your thoughts below.